Monday, 17 January, 22, 7th day, 0, 0, 0, 0 hours. Monday, 17 January, 2217, 11, 17 hours. They say I must keep talking. They tell me that to keep my thoughts in order, I need to turn them into words and to speak the words and hear myself speaking the words. What they mean is, if I don't keep listening to myself, if I don't keep giving myself a self to listen to, I'll eventually lose myself. So I can talk. There's not much else I can do. But if talking is all you can do, what is there to talk about? Monday, 17 January, 2217, 1945 hours. First things first. How did I get here? No, first of all, where is here? Here is Paraspace Conduit Orbiting Satellite, VM-42. Here is Departure Terminal 3, a swirling group of 14 artificial macro-singularities. Twisting space-time. Their mutual orbital perturbations can be configured to open wormholes. For cargo ships to... To carry stuff through. To feed the glorious eternal human empire of the beckoning stars. Or whatever. Here is a door to wherever the empire needs to go. And I've got the keys. It's my job. No, it's my life. To unlock it in just the right way, so cargo gets sent to just the right place, the wrong place being anywhere else, or nowhere. Here is a few tons of electronics, cybertronics, and neurotronics spinning and falling in deep space, all patched into me. No, with me wired into it. Tuesday, 18 January, 2270, 0420 hours. They tell me most language isn't about communication with others, rather it's about giving form, keeping form. Controlling form of oneself. Man is the animal that talks, they say. So, if you stop talking, if I stop talking, they say I'll eventually become insane. And what that really means is they need me sane. So, basically, their concern for my welfare is a threat. Keep talking or else. I read somewhere that sanity isn't a psychiatric term at all. It's a legal term, meaning competent to stand trial, or rather mentally able to grasp the concepts of law, breaking the law, being held accountable for breaking the law and being punished by the law for breaking the law. So, I am legally sane. That's good to know. Tuesday, 18 January, 2217, 12.38 hours. First things first, but not necessarily in that order. Joke. Why am I here? I'm here 
because I did a bad thing and mildly inconvenienced some powerful people. And the state demands wise justice, so I repay my debt to humanity by gatekeeping. I'm here because I accepted the offer, and because it's better than a short lifetime in a labor camp, or a long lifetime in jail, or no lifetime at all with a needle in my arm, because the camps and jails are all full. I'm here because, for reasons no one understands, a computer can't do the job. A computer can send the instructions to change the gravity waves, to modify the orbits, to determine the end point, and open and close the door. A computer can do all the n-dimensional algebra to keep the singularities weaving and bobbing without ever crashing or escaping. A computer can do all that faster and more reliably than any human. But it can't calculate what configuration it needs to create. Almost, but not quite. Somehow, only a conscious mind can work out which turns of the key will unlock the door to that destination for those items travelling at that moment. Intuition, inspired guesswork, divine spark, quantum indeterminacy at the dendritic neural scale. I've heard it called lots of things. Whatever it is, organic beings have it, and machines don't. Tuesday, 18 January 2017, 21-27 hours. If they need me to talk, why do they want me alone? Build a cell for one, why not two? Wouldn't that make it easier for me? Or rather, for them? But no, not even a chatbot application like young children get. Oh, I've got more recorded media here than a hundred people could view in a hundred lifetimes, but no one to talk to. Talk with. Maybe it's meant to be a compromise. Let's hear it for the middle road. What do you get when a stupid person tries to impersonate a wise one? If the Empire depends on transport of goods between systems, and transport depends on the mysterious properties of my human mind, and the continued function of my mind depends on my mental well-being, and my well-being depends on human contact. Why? I did ask. I got responses as opposed to answers. Embarrassed evasions. Embarrassed airy generalizations. Embarrassed silence as if it were a rude question. Well, I suppose, any question you don't want to answer, you call rude. It's an excuse for not answering. And the most important questions are the ones we don't want to answer. But I knew the answer. What happens when you depend on something you wish to destroy? Like a parent who gives you food, then beats you. What happens when you need something you hate? Like the chemotherapy of old times, or, well, most jobs through all times. It can't be employment and punishment. But you try to make it both. I'm pretty sure you can't love an abuser, but you can always tell yourself you do, and you need to do it loud and often. Which means, if I start to talk about how much I love the government, you'll know what's happened. Wednesday, 19th January, 2017.
zero three nineteen hours. But recorded media, entertainment, stimulation, interaction and distraction, parasocial relationships, a fantasy life, a rich inner personal world. Something to fill your time, fill your mind, make you a person, or prevent you becoming whatever a human is, when they're no longer a person. Isn't it odd how the next best thing to real life is better than real life? Video is better than people. Anticipation is better than fulfillment. Hoping is better than having. Porn is better than sex. Oh yes, I've got porn too. Wednesday, 19th of January, 
simple when you know how, and great fun. I could happily have done nothing else. Linking arms and shouting at the police, not so simple. Pretending to find courage in solidarity with the oppressed. Yeah, not quite so easy. Explaining the basics to normal people who watched the same propaganda I did and thought they understood it. Actually, some of us did love that bit. Staying friends with former party members expelled for some reason or other. Or none. That wasn't hard. Pretending they never existed in rooms filled half with comrades who really had expunged all memory and half with comrades who still, like me, carried on illicit friendships like they were secret love affairs. Well, I managed. For the cause. Thursday, 20 January, 20 to 17. 23, 20 hours. Funny thing, we always just called it The Party. There were dozens of The Parties. The more letters in the name, the smaller and more devout the membership. We just had two letters. And how many members? They liked to say 25,000. If you believed your eyes, more like 5,000. Maybe double that. If you believed the netcast debates, one old man and 500 pathetic brainwashed followers. Or no leader at all and untold millions of zombie-like drones, all hyper-skilled deep cover agents, worming our way into society at all levels, poised to something or other. I once saw it flip three times in one cast. To members of other The Parties, we infiltrated the schools and dominated the councils and controlled the media, except when the media dictated to us and we mindlessly followed. To most people, well, most had never even heard of us. But to those few of the public with politics as their hobby, we had millions of unconscious members, all of them in other countries. Whichever countries our country was hating on at the time. Friday, 21 January, 2270, 0238 hours. You can always find reasons. Reasons why what we all know don't apply just this one time. Public debates are set up so we'll lose. Except this one we just might win. Boycotts don't work because only members follow them. Except this time it's really important to try. Hijacking a broadcast channel for ten minutes will just annoy the public and turn them against us. Except for this channel in this city. Because, trust me, there are really good reasons, but we can't tell you what they are quite yet. We used to joke that if we could get all party members together, there would be enough to storm the central government buildings, imprison or shoot all the politicians, and set up our own government of the people. And, twenty-four hours later, we'd all be dead, because even if the government really were a few hundred people in a five-kilometer radius of tall buildings, the state was everywhere, and the state had all the weapons, satellites, and ships. Hey, the state had whole other planets. But maybe just this once, thought a group of new members. Maybe with a big enough bomb, the parties 
and the peoples would all be forced to come together. And when five of us actually tried to do it, and the surviving members went dark and needed places to hide, people to hide them. I knew I couldn't help her. I knew we'd both be found, probably within a day. But I found a reason. Friday, 21 January, 2270. 0809 hours. Greek irony. Apparently that's what it's called. Getting what you want, but with a condition attached that turns the blessing into a curse. Tithonus given eternal life without eternal youth. Cassandra given prophecy without credibility. The monkey's hand. Join the cause for freedom and get trapped in the party. Join the cause for clarity and purpose and get locked into never-ending debates about things no one can define. Join the cause for universal brotherhood and find the whole family hate each other. Join the cause for hope. Try to bring down the empire and the empire puts you to work. You work for the empire, so now the empire depends on you. The empire relies on your cooperation, so you could bring down the empire. But you don't, because when it comes to the choice of living in your own chains versus breaking everyone else's, you find you love life more than liberty. You love your life more than their liberty. Friday, 21 January, 2278 hours. If you have nothing left to lose, no one can control you. But there's always something left to lose. Friday, 21 January, 2271 hours. <laughs> Saturday, 22 January, 2270, 0613 hours. People used to tell me that only criminals don't want jobs. Different people told me that people only become criminals because they can't get jobs. Other different people told me employment itself is a crime against nature. That was when there were more jobs than people. Or... More people needing to employ other people than other people prepared to be employed by them. Or an economy that had finally got it right and would never ever go into recession again and would just keep improving everyone's quality of life forever. Yeah, that didn't last long. A criminal is someone who does business outside the law. A criminal is a victim of laws made by and for big business, fighting back with their own business, making their own laws. A criminal is whoever does what the state decides is criminal. A criminal is someone doing the right thing when the wrong people are in charge. I used to hear a lot of things. Some of them I believed. Some of those beliefs I acted on, sometimes, or tried to. Saturday, 22 January, 2270, 15.52 hours. I've got all the time I could possibly want, here. Cargo transports aren't frequent. It's rare to get two in 24 hours. They could arrive at any time. And they need me awake and at peak performance at a moment.
moment's notice. So the machine does my sleeping for me. It cleans my brain of metabolic toxins, selectively setting different regions to sleep mode and triggering waves of cerebrospinal fluid to wash out just those regions, then moves on to different regions. I don't need sleep. In fact, I can't sleep, because parts of me are cycled through sleep cleaning all the time. It feels good, actually, to be in a permanent state of just having woken up from a rest. I did hear there were plans to do the same on Mars, with the best and brightest of young students, having them in optimal study condition all the time, for a decade, or two. Just imagine the expertise, the creativity, the intelligence, the sheer human potential. Or, just imagine an entire generation of youth. Minds super sharp and advanced beyond anything the Empire's ruling class could envisage. Imagine a workforce that can see through any propaganda, formulate a counterplan to any strategy that might be tried to keep them down and scared and confused. Sunday, 23 January, 2270. 0014 hours. Clean brain. As opposed to brainwashing, I suppose. No need to eat, or... The other thing. The other things. Both of them. All of them. All taken care of. The right nutrients, in the right quantities, piped directly in. And the waste products, piped away. Clean inside and out. Fringe benefit. Aging slowed right down. I asked about that. How long do I get to live like that? Cue the usual embarrassed silence and the usual non-answers. As long as you can keep going. Translation. They don't know. I'm not sure whether they were dumb enough to think I couldn't see they were lying, or smart enough to know it didn't matter. They knew I'd say yes, and I knew they knew, and so on. Why not just make me a brain in a jar? That one's easy. Why replace a body with a jar when you can put the body in a box? Cheaper, safer, more efficient, a whole lot simpler. A brain in a body in a box. A person in a brain in a body in a machine in an empire in... in... a whole lot of black nothing. Sunday, 23 January, 2270. 0454 hours. In standard Earth time terms, I have existed for something a little over five decades. I could ask the system to tell me exactly, if I want it, to the nearest second. One second, defined as nine billion ground state radiation periods in a cesium-133 atom at zero degrees Kelvin. I've forgotten what that means, though. And it's not exactly nine billion. One, two, three. All the time I could ever use, and a job no one else seems to want, taking almost no time at all. Which might make me... One of the five laziest people in the universe. I think they're building another two terminals out in Sieg 1. Home is Earth. Well, Earth and Mars and a few asteroids. And some of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, but they're unmanned. 
and a load of stations, of course. The outposts are Canis Major, Sieg One, Ursa Minor, Draco, and two bits of the small Magellanic cloud. All the time in this world, and strict instructions to not go mad. It would be the height of bad manners to become a crazy person and bugger up the supply lines and leave all the decent, obedient, hard-working families out on the frontier to starve. So, if I keep them all fed and happy and productive, doesn't that make me a galactic hero? I should have asked about that. Where was I? Oh, yeah. All the time in this world and the next. With video and audio, music and reads, stims and ends, whenever I want it, however much I want, just so long as I'm on call 24-7. 24-7, 365. 24-7, 365. Point two four. Is this heaven? Or hell? Or purgatory? I'm not sure there's a difference. <laughs>